as the back 158 it's John Heffernan on the right of Iowa who finished sixth in the Nationals last year against Bill Tate a senior from Waterloo who uh, was a big eight champion two years ago and redshirted last year well they both have different styles but They've been a lot alike this year in the way their seasons have gone up and down. The coaches just don't really know what to expect, but they hope for the best because when they're wrestling their best, they're both oh, they're very, terrific. yeah, very good wrestlers. And Tate has in the past wrestled very well against Iowa. Well, he doesn't lack matches. any talent, I'll tell you. He's got an athletic body. He's an athlete. He was a football player. He's all state halfback. All state halfback. He's really got a body for the sport. But he's really got to get his head together here because he's had a rough year this year and he's got a lot of talent to, to put out on the mat. And the coaches want to see him come together tonight. John Heffernan. He started strong this year, Doug, but last year... Center, guys. You're just pushing and shoving. He finished sixth, had a good NCAA tournament. But you know, at one time he had lost nine in a row last year. Well, this year he's lost two or three in a row at one time. And hopefully, coaches are hoping that he'll come out of it again this year. Heffernan made the shot. Couldn't make it, couldn't complete it. He's just coming off, John Heffern is just coming off two back-to-back -back real good uh, matches. They'd like to make it three in a row. He had a terrific tournament last year in the NCAA. Beat Most the top stalling. seated uh, wrestler. Yes, he Rob Cole. And it's a double warning for stalling, so that makes it uh, the threat of a point anytime somebody does it again. There's a shot by Heffernan. He got off his base. Tate had to sprawl to get away, and so he was unable to counter. Hundred and fifty-eight pounds. Iowa and Iowa State. The Cyclones lead ten to six. They won the last three matches. At Carver Hawkeye Arena between these two national power wrestling teams. In their first match of the year, they'll get together again over in the Ames. Here's a single leg by Heffernan, but Tate shrugs, kicks his leg out. Well, Tate's gonna have to pay him back now with a shot in here or he's gonna get called. For Iowa Public Television, Doug Brown with Tim Johnson with the play-by-play -play or the grunt by groan, as we often say. Well, Tate just made a shot to the left Front headlock. Side. He tried to shuck Tate away and couldn't do it. And Hefferman was able to stop that shot and get into that front headlock. But Tate hasn't made any offensive moves yet. Well, he, that was his first even glimpse of one where he was, but he was stopped. And when things are going well for him, he uh, has a good low-level attack. You're both stalling still. That's a point each. They're still even. And it's 1 1. Iowa State's choice. Top one, one. one feet of the fur. Iowa State chooses down. In the second period, Tate goes down. And Tate is out. Two to one. All right. Injury time. Injury time. Injury time. Tate. You okay? You okay? Now we're going back to the center again. Phil Henning. Both up. Both up. Wait. Tate, you saw attempt to go to the left side. He seems to only be able to go to the left side. I'm sure John Hefferman knows that. When, you have, when you're limited to one side, you really limit your offense. There he goes, shot to the left. Hefferman knows it's coming. He's really shutting it down right now. Because... And a round comes Hefferman, but Tate is quick enough to turn on him and save the point. It's two to one. Tate. 
Center, center, stop the whistle. Well, that's what he wanted to do. But. Yeah, and actually, to explain myself better, Tate likes to go to the left side, and this right leg league is really slowing, slowing him down. Right there, when Heffernan leads with the right leg, that really slows Tate's off. Tate against Heffernan in the second period. Two to one, Tate. He Whoa. comes in and gets it, one four. There he was on to that man's left side. He shot it. Tate's right. A double leg, and it's now four to one in favor of Tate. Threw a little duck action on that, too, with a little high crotch. He, uh, he really threw a move at him. Now, Heffernan wants to get out here quickly and turn, in, turn it into something because he doesn't want to let Tate get his confidence up. He was almost out, but Tate was able to control the ankle. He has to hold him for a while to get uh, maybe some riding time, so Tate is driving at him. We're in the second period. Tate's staying parallel. He's probably going to have to come around to the side, or uh, Will Henning's going to get him out of there. Well, he's got to come out to the side. Heffernan's got to throw some back pressure and come straight up. And it's 4-1, to one. Tate. End of the period. Iowa's choice, top bottom. Bill Tate. Back in the lineup at 158 pounds for Iowa State. Oh, he can't win that way. Just five minutes, he couldn't take him down. Now, Heffernan takes down. You got to go like... You got to bring your hips up now when you can. You need to get out to make it 4 2 and Tom then get a takedown on. to get back in the match again. But there are only three seconds of needed for Tate to get a riding time point. Escape! He didn't Both get it. Out. Yeah, and the, the clock only shows 59 seconds, and Jim Gibbons is really upset about that. He thought he should have, there should be riding time. Here is Gibbons going to the official. They missed the riding time. He held him down longer than that. For 59 seconds. Yeah. He missed three hold seconds. It, hold it. Time. Now this counts on this counts on his injury time, so start his injury time we're figuring this out. When did the takedown occur? When did the takedown occur in the second period? Yeah, do you have a time wise when did that takedown occur? 101. We, held, we, had, we had 58 seconds up there. No, we had 57. 50 no. seconds. We held him longer than three seconds, Bill. You guys didn't well, start the riding No, he said 50, 58 seconds. The they said 57 seconds. He went out within two seconds, so that's right. That's pretty close right there. Now, it could be, there could be another eight, nine tenths of a second in there, too. Okay, cut the injury time off for Tate. How much injury time has he used? Well, I think the point was made there, used? Doug, okay. uh, as far as it started at 57 and... Heffernan no, got out fast. Right 59 seconds. Ready? I'm at 43 to go here. Tate leads 4 to 2. And Heffernan has to prove himself on his feet here. They've each been warned, so penalties are going to make a difference right, here. It is. Both of them have to turn on their offense because the other one should get called if they don't. It was started that way in the first period. It shouldn't be any different in the third period. Tate made a shot, couldn't get it. Heffernan reaches. A lot of shoving. A lot of fighting for position. We owe a Stalin call here pretty soon. Phil's established himself. Phil Henning did in the first period, like I said. And they're not doing anything different here, so somebody's going to get called. 4-2 to two Tate with only a minute left. This is very important, this match, because it's one of the few toss-ups we have here that everybody sees as a toss-up. Heffernan. You know, they want John Heffernan to get after him and get going because the point's there for him if he wants it. A shot by Heffernan. Tate sprawls out. Holds the position. But he'll have to make a shot, too, or get called. And he did. He got called. It's now 3-4. to 4-3. to four. Four to three. Tate over Heffernan, and Heffernan can win with a takedown. Because there is no riding time. He can win if, he, if Tate gets called again, because it will be two points. There's a shot by Tate.
Tate has the arm across the back. We have eight seconds to go. Now Heffernan wants to throw it. And there it is. And it is Tate's win by one. Four to three. Four to three, Iowa State wins at 158 pounds. Tate over Heffernan, and it's 13 to six in favor of the Cyclones. And some very unhappy people are letting themselves be heard in the Carver Home Guide. This one ought to be fun here, this next one. 167 pounds between two youngsters. Bart Chelsvig, who was in high school last year and may have been the best high school wrestler in America. And at 167 for Iowa State, a sophomore from Fritz, up in the same part of the state, Jeff Kelly. Well, this is an important match for Iowa right here. They, they really feel that they're going to have to win this match. And I think that uh, the way Chelsvig's been looking is a good opportunity. But this, Kelly is tough. Chelsvig made a... And a shot, couldn't get it. Last year, Chelsvig was undefeated. In fact, he hadn't lost a high school match, I think, in about three years. National junior champion. He's got a lot of good technique. And everybody wanted him. You know, like Gable I, got him. And everybody wanted him because of his weight, Doug. At 167, it's not that many opportunities to have someone that's able to come in and step in like Chelsvig has been able to do for Iowa. And that's a real, that's a that's what you really call a blue chip athlete. As you said, everybody, I think, really expected Chelsvig to redshirt this year. But uh, he has shown himself to be good enough to help the team this year. So. Royce Algers going up to 177. And Shelsvig hasn't lost since he's been at this in the lineup. Jeff Kelly from Britt, part of a wrestling family, the Kelly brothers. Low single by Shelsvig, but Kelly shows toughness again. So many times happens with these outstanding young wrestlers. The coaches want them to win, but they more than anything else want them to wrestle a match all the way through. Right. Show, they, show talent and, and, and grit and get. They want them to develop, Doug. They want them to develop better wrestlers. It's not just about winning and losing. It's are you getting better? And that's a good point for coaches in high school and a good lesson for the Young wrestlers out there, you just got to go wrestle the best to get better, to be the best. Yeah, the Iowa State coach you saw just a minute ago, leading 13 to six. Chelsvik made a shot, and Kelly almost uh, took the move away from him. Now he goes in on a high cross, but it's at the end of the match. And no points. How much time left? A minute 10 in the first period. We'll be watching these men wrestle for the next several years. Chelsvig and Kelly. Jeff Kelly's been injured. You see he has an injured knee. And Kelly makes the first takedown. Nice counter. Nice move around by Kelly. And he leads Bart Chelsvig two to nothing. Right here it's... It's Chelsvig's shot right here, but Kelly's able to really sprawl out, hip out, spin in one motion. Did and nice prevent job. Chelsvig's Granby mm -hmm. as Toss a counter. The bottom, man. False start. Chelsvig moved a little bit too fast. Crowd of almost 14,000 people here in Carver Hawkeye Arena. Chelsea gets to his feet. And Kelly brings him back. You heard uh, Phil Henning warn him against a slam. No, 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 no. You're off. Still down. Out of bounds. Get Again, Chelsea. Granby from the from the feet. 
Relax now. Relax in the woods. Tom, man, you're on. 30 seconds to go in the first period. Watch your knee. Kelly? Yeah, yeah you can just on, see from on the ankle. Out comes Kelsvig. They're both good, hard workers. They, they're just tough kids. Two to one. We've seen some real talent here, Tim. Up and down the lineup on these two teams. And we're going to keep seeing them. I'll tell you, I know that Oklahoma State has some people. Arizona State has some people. So do a couple of, UNI has some people. Going to be a, have to be some awfully tough teams to beat this lineup. These two teams. Yep. Iowa State and Iowa. Top bottom feeder defer. No. Iowa chooses down. All right. Shelswick starts on the bottom. It's two to one. This is his choice. Okay, bottom angle set. Top man, you're on. Jeff Kelly. It's his first match back for quite a while. Yeah, he's had an injury. He had torn cartilage in the knee, and so he's coming back from an injury that uh, has kept him out of the lineup. Potentially dangerous. Next time it's going to be a penalty. That's potentially dangerous. You get it out there again, it's going to be illegal. You keep it on the hip. Henning talking to Kelly on. about that ankle move that is dangerous to the knee. Granby. Kelly follows it around, but not quickly enough. Kelsvig's very tough on the bottom, well, especially in his first year. Yeah, that's what you call not giving up. He knows what he wants. He went after it, and he just kept going, put the moves together until Center. he was out. 2-2. Two -two. Circle on the edge now. Circle on the edge. Kelly got a takedown. First period. Kelsvig escaped, and then escaped the start of the second period. Riding time, 46 seconds for Kelly. Not enough for a point. Well, Coach Gable calls Kelsvig a meat wrestler. He says, in the practice room, you just don't even know what's going to happen because things that he can do out in front of people are just incredible. And they don't happen in the mat in the room. Kelly gets the low, low single. And... No, Phil Henning was not at all sure. Sit down. Verbal warning. No There's control. a coach's warning by Phil Henning against verbal Jim Gibbons. He didn't warning. want him complaining. There was no control. Uh, and Jim got, Gibbons is fit to be tied here. Okay, we also have we also have one point Iowa State a technical violation for swearing. Iowa swore one point Iowa State. Iowa is called for swearing here, and I don't know. I don't know who he said one you point got a for point Iowa. for swearing. Technical violation for swearing. You got one point on that. You're both up. That was no takedown. And it's 46 uh, three seconds to two for State Kelly. Time. You. You're both up. There was no control over there. Right. One point. Three to two. I'm sure the crowd doesn't know what happened, but apparently Chelsea said something when they were on the edge there that uh, the coach that uh, Phil Henning called. Center. Things get emotional when Iowa State and Iowa go. And it doesn't it doesn't have to be wrestlers that have been around for years. These no. are young wrestlers that say, you know, they've known about the rivalry for 15 years since they were little boys. Kelly manages to counter. Chelsvig is just a, a whirling well, dervish in there. He's they're both, coming. though, doing a nice job of uh, countering each other's moves. A lot of talent. Kelly leads three to two. Second period with 29 seconds left. Kelly has 46 seconds of riding time. This circle, is, circle. This is real drama, Center. Doug. I mean, yeah. we're coming down the last few matches, the streak of 43. It, it's a close match. Well, Every I, move, in fact, is an yeah. important one. Though. Well, I'll tell you, Iowa, I think, has to win this one. I do, too. They have to win this one. They figured maybe the, that they think Alger is going to beat Van Arsdale, but you would hate to have to go out there and try to get extra points. And then they face a national champion at 90, and they don't want to leave too many points to make up uh, by Sindlinger. No, he swore. He swore really loud. That's a technical violation. One point. Dan Gable asked what the point was. 
uh, given to Iowa for Choice. Iowa State Iowa for, and he was just told by Phil Henning. Let's go, Chelsea. Let's go, Bart. Yeah. Kelly starts on the bottom, a third period. He has 46 seconds of riding time. Chelsea is not a man who likes to ride much, so Kelly gets loose. Four to two. Here we are in the second, third period, and Kelly manages to, to defend against the intensity of Chelsea's attack. Out of bounds, no nothing. Third period. Who can suck it up and go? That's right. You said it best when you said the last word, go. They've got to put the offense on. Somebody's got to make it happen. Nothing to show so far. They used about 30 seconds. Four to two, Kelly. A takedown, a penalty point, and an escape. Chelsea escaped twice. But he hasn't taken Kelly down yet, and he's going to have to do it to win or tie. Here comes Chelsea blocking off. Out of bounds. Four to two. And also, uh, Kelly will have to stay active. Yeah, right, but we're getting down to the point, Doug, where it's not going to make that much difference. Does he have a warning? No. He doesn't even have a warning, and, you know, the whole match is different than the one before, and it's not going to be, a, stalling is not going to come into play, it doesn't look like. Jeff Kelly of Iowa State, a sophomore, really his first year in the lineup. Mark Chelsvig of Iowa, just come in the second semester. His second semester of school. As a first year freshman. Now Stalling has been called against Kelly. Stalling has been called. Out of bounds. Kelly feels very comfortable where he is as far as fighting off Chelsea hey, right now. For out. But if he can, can he fight off the clock? That's uh, the penalties. And Chelsvig is tough. If he gets a takedown, he ties it. And a tie is a lot better than a loss right here for Iowa. Yes. But I still think Iowa needs to win this match. Or Iowa State is liable to, to pick up a pretty good margin here. Well, it's going to have to be an awful slick move right here. Chelsvig is going to have to throw it. He does. But he can't turn it on. No, that's it. And it is Center. now four to two. Jeff Kelly of Iowa State. It's a big State. win by Jeff Kelly. It was a, a, a huge win for Iowa State because Iowa State now goes up 16 to six at the Hawkeyes Home Sorry, Arena. And I think it's possible that the uh, it's possible. Now something is going on here between yeah. the referee and Jim Gibbons, and I need to talk to him. Unsportsmanlike conduct after the whistle was blown in Iowa State for swearing. Deduct one team point for unsportsmanlike conduct at Deducted the end of the match. Deducted a team point, and that really hurt. Instead of 16 to 6, after it is now 15 to 6. the post-match procedure, after they shake hands, he comes off to me and says, that's bullshit, Phil. Now, I penalized Chelsea for swearing a match point You're during the heading. match. After the match is over with, I also have to penalize your kid. But it occurred after the time was up and before he and left the match. And they are now so showing what happened here. There's uh, Van Arsdale and Alger out there waiting. And it is a team point deducted from Iowa State for an after-the-match technical violation. Well, here we go with a uh, big match. And this is a big match. It becomes even bigger for Iowa with Alger here. He needs to really turn it on. And And it's 15 to 6, nine point difference. But I'll tell you, if Volker expects to win at uh, 190, 
Iowa is going to need two falls, two pins. And Van Arsdale and Alger are really after each other. Van Ar Alger has to get a pin. That's right. That's what it's come down to. It's, that's what's happened. Now, if it were uh, 66. Center, let's go. Bad. Yeah, I mean, and point, you know, it still yeah, leaves yeah, Iowa yeah, open to, middle, to win this middle. meet with, yes. two, with two pins. But uh, you wouldn't expect it with this match, but Royce Alger does the unexpected. Of course, you can't, can't say for sure who's going to win at 190. Nobody wins until, it, that's right. until he wins. Two tough 177 Circle. pounders. Van Arsdale of Iowa State finished third Let's in the nation here. at 167 two years ago. Alger won the 167 pound national Central. title last year. Now they're up at a higher weight. Alger just recently, he feels very comfortable here. Van Arsdale's ranked second. Alger from Lisbon, on, as was Dean Happel. Van Arsdale's from Waterloo West. Both great wrestling traditions. Back All you're center. doing is pushing. All you're doing is holding on. Let's open up. Joe Henning talks to both wrestlers. Oh, Alger trying to jerked the man's head around, and he almost got behind quickly with that. Alger's very rangy. Has a reputation as a tournament wrestler. Yeah, he does. He has a reputation to win in the big matches. He's not scared of anybody. Intimidates. He's an intimidator. Although he doesn't pin people, Alger is an intimidator, as everybody knows. There's the first takedown. Alger goes under. Escape, both up. And after the escape, it's two to one. And Arsdale's a real, it's real hard to wrestle. He's hes lanky, he's explosive. And you know, he kind of has the same attitude as Alger. I don't, he really doesn't think he can be beat either. Alger doesn't think he can be beat, neither does Mike. Circle on the edge, you got a circle on the edge. Two to one. And Arsdale goes to the leg. Just keeps coming. Alger, wrestling up at 177. He began his career at Iowa at 158. And you know, he's not so much heavier. He's just bigger. He's got more muscle on him. He's got less body fat than he did down at 167. Must be fun to eat, too. Yeah. He's, he's probably having a, a little bit more of these days. That's right. I think the crowd thinks come. that Iowa State's been backing off, and here they think Van Arsdale's doing it again. But he's got this, now he's got to follow through, and he just did. Had that knee, followed through for two. Technically nicely done there by Alger. He followed through extremely well. Four to one. Right here, he had the knee up, but he's got to finish it, and he took him away from where he had a base, took him towards his, uh, the leg that he had up, was able to dump him for two. It is four to one, 10 seconds riding time, Iowa. Bottom man is set, top man, you're on. Alger was the winner between these two in high school, we're told. And for five years, they haven't met in, in college, and it's kind of appropriate that they meet here in the big ones. Alger wrestling very well on top. Center, slow down. Royce Alger. Let's go, quickly. One of the best and Let's one go. of the most intense wrestlers that Dan has ever had. He's really never Tom had man, a, on. another one like him. That's the end of the period of 24 Let's seconds of riding Tom time for Alger. Van Arsdale gets his choice, takes down. Very few wrestlers are able to lead a team like Royce Alger from just their presence. They go out, they worry about the way that things are going. Now that's where Royce is right now. He's probably worried about the way things are going for Iowa, and he says, talking's not gonna do any good now, it's just wrestling. He and pushes I do Van Arsdale away, gives him the escape. It's four to two. Figures he can probably 
take Van Arsdale down or certainly maybe get him some stalling. Alger underhooking with his right arm, keeping uh, Van Arsdale away. Goes up. Out of bounds. Back on their feet, there's Dan Gable. Let's go. This hasn't gone the way he wanted it to go. Those two matches at 158 and 167. There's a nice step in to Oh, yeah. He's got him in the single now, and again, he wants to finish it. He's got the leg up. He pulls him out in the center. <laughs> cut across. Cut across for the double. And Van Arsdale bailed out. Alger had a lot of ways he could have gone there. He could have come step back, lowered his level for a dump, or cut across for the double, and that's what he chose. You're really in control there if you want to be when you had that leg up. Well, Alger wants to turn Van Arsdale over if he can. He'll probably stay down there and try to turn him. Now Van Arsdale's on his feet and out. Escape! Both that up. makes it six to three. Alger. The score is Iowa State 15 and Iowa 6. Iowa State did have a team point deducted here just a few minutes ago. But they lead by nine with three matches to go. And Van Arsdale is called for stalling. That's a warning. Stay in the middle. We're getting close to a little uh, slap match here. We're going to have to... They're just slapping it up. Alger, you've got a circle. You can't get pushed way. out goes, like that. Are you going to lose a penalty point next? He goes straight at you, and you heard Phil Henning tell Van Arsdale how he's going to have to avoid the penalty. Circle, don't back up. Van Arsdale shot in comes a body lock from Alger. Two. Did he call it? Two, two. <laughs> and immediately, Ed Bannock gets up and grabs his, uh, the two other coaches, Jim Gibbons and Les Henderson. Yeah, he thought, he thought Coach Gibbons was going after Phil Henning. He wasn't. He just wanted to tell Van Arsdale what he wanted him to do right there. One but, point, unsportsmanlike conduct, Iowa State. One point, unsportsmanlike conduct, Iowa State. Right here, we can't hear the horn. Oh, it's another point. Another point here for a penalty, I think. Unsportsmanlike conduct on Iowa State. Listen, that's against Van Arsdale. In my judgment, I felt your hips hit right before the buzzer went. Now, that's my judgment. Here it is. And, and you can't argue with it, okay? That's the way it is. You're down. Let's go. And it's now 9-3. to three. Alger starts on. He's out. Ten to three. Now, Van Arsdale is allowing himself to get into you a spot. You pushed him. You pushed him. To me, it's even now. Let's cool it. That Wrestle Alger uh, wants him to get in. You don't want to lose your temper on the other guy's turf. <laughs> Ten to three here. Iowa State leads by 19 points with three matches, this one included, yet undecided. And what the fans are booing about here is Van Arsdale oh, is just on the edge all the time here. He's There's allowing Alger to push him out. Whether or not he's stalling or not, he is allowing Alger to put, push him out. And he's yes. got to have more presence than he that. Didn't he's got to circle. circle. That's right. He's, he's allowing Alger to... Well, Alger's doing Dictate exactly what he wants to that's do. That's right, that's right. Exactly what he wants to do. And it's as if uh, that Arsdale's not really in the match. Center. See, Alger's taking care of business right here. Van Arsdale's thinking too much about how things aren't going his way. He's got to get in and take his offense. Don't take the first two or three steps backwards. He's got a lot of talent, but he needs to take it to him. Alger's just going about it in a workmanlike fashion. 
This puts tremendous pressure on the 190 pound match. Every one of these matches is tough from now on. Circle, circle, circle. If Iowa State wins one of them. Well, yeah, and Iowa's got a great young wrestler in Brooke Simpson. And, you know, you never know. You never know. He knows he's the underdog. He'd like to be able to tell, show everybody watching tonight in the stands that reinforce that you never know. Again, Alger is able to back Van Arsdale up. Van Arsdale can't win standing there. He can't score points standing there. He's got an eight-point victory against him. And he doesn't and, circle. And he's not circling. All you're circling. doing is pushing. All you're doing is holding on. That's not stalling. That's well, wrestling in the middle. The point is Van Arsdale needs to get to eliminate that eight point by coming in there for points. Van Arsdale did take a shot, but here comes Alger on the counter to the single leg with two seconds left. Go. And it ends. No riding time. No riding time, but a major decision for Royce Alger over Mike Van Arsdale. One of the toughest competitors he'll have to face this year at 177 pounds. And the team score is now 15 to 10. 15 to 10. And here comes a very important match for Iowa State because Iowa is favored probably at heavyweight. The last time Sindlinger met Cope, he pinned him. He beat him here in a decision last year. And Iowa State's Volker is up against a fine sophomore from Iowa, from Newton, Iowa, Brooke Simpson. Well, there's no doubt who's the favorite here, but I have a feeling that Simpson's the kind of young man that says, okay, this is where I'm at. I'm gonna give it my best shot. And in his mind, he's the type of person, he's a winner. He says, I'm gonna beat him. I mean, that's the kind of attitude you have to have. Both up. Again, two Iowa high school products. Volker came from Dallas Center. He's a junior, won the national championship last year. Simpson won the state title two years ago at Newton. You know, Dallas Center, Newton, small town Iowa is so much a part of wrestling here. We have a lot of small towns that contribute to the major college stars. Stalemate, well, Center, Lisbon, both up. Brett. You bet. <laughs> Webster City, it's it's uh, it's great. I come from a small town. In fact, there are 50 people from the Lions Club at Morning Sun out in, up in the stands tonight. We love our wrestling at Morning Sun. It's a proud heritage of wrestling there. 50 people, huh? We're yeah. Well, that's over 10 percent. That, that's right. That's over. That's a big percentage of our town. It's Simpson against Volker. A critical match, Iowa against up, Iowa State, because. The Cyclones lead on the Hawks' turf after 43 straight victories. Dan Gable's winning record here is on the line. Well, it's trying, not over, Doug. No, Simpson's controlling the Volker's head, so he's not able to do quite what he wants to do. Volker won the national championship last year. After a fine season, he only lost twice all year. This year, he's lost once to a collegiate. And that was Mike You're Davies of Arizona State. You're blocking off. You're both stalling. And he won the return match. They were both worn. So now stalling will be a, a point offense from now on. A lot of tension here on the on the two benches watching this match. Here's Volker on the leg for the first time. Simpson countering hard. Simpson countering very well. Nothing to show for it. Right here, Simpson needs to put his hips down. And Volker gets the takedown. He just covered him well. He covered him very well there. Simpson gave it a good fight, though. That was one of those scrambles where you, everybody in the crowd is twitching around in their seat. <laughs> Including you and I. Yeah, we were. <laughs> Two to nothing, favor of Volker. No, still down. Simpson, Monahart, 
Dan Gable says that uh, Brooks is very talented. He has great potential. He is coming off a knee problem, however, and uh, so he's probably not in the kind of shape he's going to be here. And his timing, the end of the year. you know. Oh! Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, okay. okay. Potentially dangerous. You land on your neck like that, you're down. Well, Simpson probably feels that uh, a move was start, taken uh, yeah. away from him there because he feels Tom he was Andrew starting on. a Granby roll from the standing position there. He's tough. A His lot timing's of... just a little off. He's a roller. No, nothing. Boy, I'll tell you, a lot, of, <laughs> a lot of excitement here. He's got a good... The crowd was up for a second. They thought Simpson might be putting Volker in some real trouble. Iowa's choice. Iowa's choice, top, bottom, feeder, defer. Iowa chooses down. Simpson will start down, Volker up. Let's see that uh, one Right here, stopped. he took him right down. Okay, top man, you're now, on. Now, see, this is Brooks starting what he Ooh. wanted to think of was some type of Granby series. Standing Granby. <laughs> All right, Volker hits on the whistle and flattens Simpson out. Good move by Simpson. He's not fighting he's the hands off. The arm, and he's out. Both up. You know, he had control of the hand, and when you have control of a hand, you're out. Eric Volker of Iowa State against Brooks Simpson of Iowa. And Volker knows very well that he's expected to win and that he has to win, and Iowa State is then going to take Iowa at home. Two weights in the hands. Take down for Volker. It's 4-1. Two guys with a lot of heart. I'll tell you, two good I'm good really impressed time. with these two teams up and down the lineup. Yeah, I, this is, uh, I, I think, some of the best top to bottom talent we've seen. I agree with you, Doug. Return him. Competitive. Simpson trying to come up, but Volker two. had him caught on his back for a two point near fall. Two near fall. He put himself there as hell. Simpson through the move. Uh oh. Volker's in trouble. Volker's in serious trouble here. Volker's in serious trouble. Oh, the cow. With a lot of time left. A lot of time left. A lot of time. This is a serious problem for Iowa State. 30 seconds left. Crowd's saying it best. There's something about that 43 match streak. Something always happens in an Iowa Iowa State meet, and I couldn't. I don't think anybody could think of anything more surprising than that. Right here, chest to chest, he had him. Phil Henning says he caught him for a second with both shoulders down to the mat. And now Iowa is probably in real good shape because they now lead 16 to 15. But Doug, it's not over yet. Just like we said before, of course, the favorite's Mark Sindlinger. But like I said, Eddie Banning says, I feel good about my heavyweight. This thing has come down to the last, and you're not going to catch me betting on it. I'll tell you, Volker was ahead 6-1. to one. He had just got a two-point near fall. And Simpson made his mark as a Hawkeye. It's just team personnel. You can't penalize a home team for spectators. That conversation is because a lot of people came down the crowd, out of the crowd. The team point was taken away a while ago, or it would be 16 all. And then. Take down.
Take down for Sendlinger. Trying to protect his team's lead. He's trying to put the cradle on right here. He's really looking aggressive. That crossface. Crossface cradle try if he can get it. Sindlinger has had wrestling this year to think about. He did not play football. His eligibility in football is used up. So he's been able to concentrate on this sport. How many times, Doug? Now, who would have called the, the fall by Brooks Simpson or a win by Brooks Simpson? Certainly not us. No. And I said, you know, Brooks Simpson would love to prove everybody wrong. Boy, did he want to. There was a burning desire in his heart. It happens every time in a big match like this. Somebody unexpected comes out. Top man, that's a star yes. line. Hanger, that's a star Volker line. was leading man. six to one when he got caught on his back. Now Sittlinger has come in serious trouble again. And it's gonna end right here. It'll end right here. to rank as one of the, the great comebacks of Dan Gable's team. That is something. He's got to be proud of his team after that. And Iowa State is just absolutely stunned by what happened in the last two matches. It is 22 to 15 at the end of this. And at the, in the middle of the 177-pound match, there it was, Iowa State 15, and Iowa 6, after, with three matches left to go, and one of them had Iowa State's national champion in it. Really sets the stage for the next one, Doug. Oh, oh. boy, oh boy. You know, it, it, it's, a, it's unfortunate everybody should be uh, relishing this victory, and I'm sure they are, but I know what's in the minds of the Iowa State people, they're saying, hey, I can't wait for the next one, and neither can I. Well, I'll tell you, Dan has got a lot of very fine young freshmen and sophomores, and the next time they meet, they're going to be tougher. So, no, Dan has to be happy about this. That has to make him very happy. This crowd of almost 14,000 people, nearly all of them Iowa fans, are celebrating here at the end of a stunning turnaround. Pins at 190 by Brooks Simpson over national champion Eric Volker. He was down six to one when he caught Volker on his back. And then a fall by Mark Sindlinger over Andy Koch. The other matches, let's go back really very quickly before we have to leave you. Steve Martin beat Dan Knight three to nothing for Iowa. For Iowa, Brad Penrith 11 to five over Steve Knight. Then Iowa State won the next well, they won the next five matches. They won five matches in the middle. Gibbons, six to one over Happel. Gezi, seven to nothing over Pearson. Krieger, 18 to seven over Carpenter. That was an extra point with a major. Tate, four to three over Heffernan. And that looked like maybe it was a big break for Iowa State. And then at 167, Kelly beat Chelsvig four to two, and Iowa State was up by, nine, by 10 and got a team point deducted. And then up you came into the 177 and what happened then is just people are going to be talking about it for a long long time well you don't think hilton's going to be packed do you no not a chance